in today's video, I am going to be testing out two different drugstore eyeliners. I've used these all before, I've used this one quite a bit, but I just am really curious myself to see which one is better throughout the day. So I'm going to be comparing these two. This is the NYC liquid liner. This one is about a little under $3. It's two something. I'm not really sure how much. And then this is the e.l.f. Expert liquid liner and this is $2. So the prices are actually really close. They're both under $3. But yeah, I really wanted to test these out for myself and I figured some of you guys might actually find this video helpful as well. So I'm going to be applying them and wearing them throughout the day. We're gonna see how they apply, how they wear, and I'll check back in with you after wearing it all day long. And I will let you guys know what I think is better. Let's go ahead and get started. So here are the two liners and I just checked on the amount of product. And it's actually the same exact amount of product in each tube. They're both 0.15 fluid ounces, which is crazy. I would not expect these two products to have the same amount inside of them. So I'm going to do the e.l.f. Expert Liquid Liner on my right side and the NYC Liquid Liner on my left. But first I do want to point out the brushes because I'm sure some of you guys will be curious about that. So here are the two different ones. This one has a really long wand, and this one is really short. I mean, the wand itself is short, but the handle is pretty long. So, they're actually about the same if you look at them side by side. Um, This brush, I'm just going to go ahead and swatch it on my hand. This brush is more stiff and not as forgiving as the other one is this one's a little bit of a longer brush that is more soft and i totally just did a really thick line but that was my my bad so the one thing that i do notice about the two different brushes is that the elf one in my personal opinion it's a lot easier to control just because the brush itself is a lot more flexible and softer and like I said they are both brushes they're not felt felt tips or anything they're just brushes so the elf expert liquid liner the brush is softer and more flexible more forgiving the NYC one is more stiff and a little bit harder to control at least in my opinion it's just not something that I'm used to so with all that being said I'm going to zoom in a little bit and I'm going to get to applying the product So I'm not really sure how much you guys can tell, but I had a lot of an easier time applying the e.l.f. liquid liner compared to the NYC one. You can see that the wing is kind of messed up, which I can fix with concealer, it's not a big deal. I just think that the e.l.f. liner is easier for me to apply. One thing that I do notice though is the NYC liner looks a lot more matte. And that also kind of makes the elf one look a little bit more black to me i'm gonna touch up a little bit the nyc one is definitely more matte than the elf one but i think that the elf one looks a little bit more black i think the nyc one looks a little bit more of a charcoal black color and i'm not really too picky about how matte the eyeliner is as long as it's not like a glossy look then it's totally fine by me so here's the elf liner 
And here's the NYC liner. I'm going to let those dry for a minute before I show you guys. And then I'm going to clean up this side of my eye with a concealer because it's going to drive me nuts if I don't. So I went ahead and applied mascara and I cleaned up the wing so now it looks completely fine. Here are the swatches on my hand. So again, this side is the e.l.f. side and this side is the NYC side. Um, I guess now that I look at it on my hand, the NYC one does look a little bit more black. And more matte so I kind of switched my opinion I actually kind of prefer the way that the NYC side looks now compared to the elf side but I, I like them both I don't have a problem with either one I just did feel like the elf one did apply a lot easier so um, that's basically all I have to say right now I'm going to go ahead and wear it throughout the day it's a pretty hot day and I'm gonna do like a water test and everything later on in the video so I will check back in with you guys later and we will see which one looks better after a longer wear time okay guys I'm back it's been a few hours I went to a few stores went for a walk it's now nighttime and I'm done for the day did not turn on this light but um the eyeliner they both look like they held up pretty well this one kind of looks a little bit dusty I'm gonna zoom in a little bit for you so again this is the NYC and this is the e.l.f. side. Excuse my nail polish, it is really bad. But um, that's how the eyeliner looks. I'm going to go ahead and rub on it with just my fingers and see if anything happens. And then after that I'm just going to spray my face with some water and then I'm going to rub on it again and see which one holds up the best. So they both kind of faded a little bit when I rubbed on them. This one kind of flaked off at the end and this one smudged. Um, I'm not really sure which is worse. I noticed that this one also did smudge on my eyelid and this one didn't. This one just kind of flaked. I'm good. I think that that shows enough. So I'm going to take some water. I'm just going to spray my face with it. I'm going to go ahead and rub on it again and see what happens. Oh wow. Oh my gosh. So, the e.l.f. eyeliner kind of just disappeared. Like you can't even really tell that it was there. And this side smudged a lot. I feel like in a situation where you're like stuck in the rain or something, you would almost prefer for your eyeliner to disappear than to smudge. I really have no idea which one I think is better now. I mean, I think that I prefer the e.l.f. one to apply. I just think that my eyeliner always looks better when I apply this just because of the brush. But I feel like the product in the NYC liner is better than the e.l.f. one. So if I could take the applicator from the e.l.f. one and the product from the NYC one, I think that this would be a perfect drugstore eyeliner for like 2 $3. It's not the greatest drugstore eyeliner, but from these, I think that if I could mesh them together, it would be pretty ideal for me. But yeah, this is the outcome. Like I said, let me know what you guys think down below because I'm kind of stumped here. But that is basically it for this video. Thank you guys so much for checking it out. I hope that you did find it helpful. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you have not already. And like this video if you would like to see more drugstore comparisons. And I would be happy to do that for you guys. And I will be seeing you guys in my next video very soon. Bye guys.